Well, good morning and welcome. It is lovely to have you with us. Welcome to our church family who are watching live online. It's great that you're there and uh, we are really pleased that you've uh, chosen to join us this morning. Welcome to anyone from our community who is, uh, just happens to have struck upon this video. Uh, it's great to, uh, to have you with us as well. Uh, and welcome to those who are watching around the world. Uh, already we've had someone from Thailand uh, join us, so uh, welcome. It's lovely to have you here with us too. My name is Peter. I'm the rector at St Andrews in Dibden Purlieu and uh, to all saints in Dibden. Now I hope you've made yourself a nice cup of tea and you're sitting comfortably, sat around your computer screen or uh, looking at your mobile phone. Uh, and we're going to do church differently this morning. Uh, but don't you get used to it, okay? When this is over, I want you back in here. Now these challenges uh, for us all are difficult. Uh, they come uh, at a time when we have uh, never really experienced anything like this before. Our resolve as a nation is being tested, and more than ever, we need a message of hope to cling on to. More than ever, our faith matters. As Christians, we believe in a God who loves us. We believe we're wonderfully made, we're deeply flawed, but we're dearly loved. We believe in a God who has come to us in the person of Jesus Christ, who suffered for us, who died on the cross for our sins, and who rose again, who defeated death, so that we might know God and enjoy him forever in the power of his Holy Spirit. So let's cling on to that hope this morning as we worship together. I want to say also, uh, happy Mother's Day. Recognise that it's a very different Mother's Day for many of you this morning, and uh, in some cases, quite a painful Mother's Day. Many people have been unable to see their mothers today, and I know that is hard, and we're sad with you in that. Our service this morning is going to be an abbreviated version of our normal service. We'll have some Bible readings. Sue de Jong, our church warden, is going to share a thought for the day for us. Uh, and we'll have some sung worship with Serena, our children and families worker, and Paul, our organist and piano player. We've got some lovely hymns and songs. I hope you're going to be singing away in front of your computer screens. And I want to hear you here all across Dibden Purlieu. Okay. So after the formal part of the service, we're going to try out a virtual coffee where we uh, just uh, share some of the things that have been going on. You can make some comments on the screen and uh, we're able to project the screen here for us to see. So uh, Serena and I will come up and uh, uh, chat with you over coffee uh, after the service. One or two notices just before we begin. Uh, first of all, to say that our archbishops have declared today a national day of prayer, a prayer for our nation, a time when we need to return to the Lord as a nation and call upon him. Part of that initiative is to invite people at seven o'clock this evening to place a lighted candle in their windows as a reminder to us all that Jesus is our hope and he is the light of the world in dark times. So do encourage you to do that safely if you can. Uh, we're going to have a pathway of light uh, leading up to our church in the church car park as a sign of that too. The other notice is uh, about an amazing scheme which we are about to start this week on Tuesday. Uh, as you probably know, we've closed our coffee house and our church centre, uh, but instead what we are going to offer are free delivered hot lunches to elderly and vulnerable people and free packed lunches to children in need. You may have seen the post uh, with this flyer on it on uh, Facebook this morning. It's going to go out on Twitter and on our website. Please share that. It's a wonderful way we can show love to our community at a time when people need it most. And it's a lovely way of bringing us together as a church virtually, but serving our community and being at the heart of our community, which is what we try to do. We're doing church differently as a whole at the moment. 
So we're still continuing our teaching program. Do join us on YouTube for that and do subscribe and you'll get updates as to what's going on. Uh, we're still praying, uh, we're still reaching out and we're still worshipping. We're just doing it differently. Now as Christians we believe that God speaks to us in the Bible, that this is his living word. And I know that many of you have found comfort and reassurance this week from a number of different Bible verses that seem to have spoken directly into our situation. So I want to begin the service this morning by sharing with you a reading from the Old Testament book of Isaiah, a wonderful promise of God to his people in challenging times. Isaiah 43. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name, and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. They will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour. Since you are precious and honoured in my sight, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for you. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Shall I pray as we begin? Heavenly Father, we bring before you now our nation and ourselves, and we offer you afresh ourselves for your service. Please be with us and help us in this time. In Jesus' name, amen. So I'm going to begin with some familiarity for our regular worshippers. And that's to use our opening words of greeting from the morning worship service. So let me say to you, grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And you say to me, and also with you. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We have come together in the name of Christ to offer our praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive God's holy word, to pray for the needs of the world, and to seek the forgiveness of our sins, that by the power of the Holy Spirit we may give ourselves to the service of God. Good to sing our first hymn now. Serena and Paul are getting themselves ready. It's a wonderful start. We're going to sing Amazing Grace. You may have got hold of the words which were published on Facebook, but if not, just enjoy it. Uh, and I want you singing to your computer screens right now, uh, particularly those words which come through many dangers, toils and snares. I have already come. Tis grace has brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. So let's cling on to God's amazing grace and the love he's shown in Jesus. Bye. 
Thank you so much, Serena and Paul. We're now going to have a brief time of confession before Karen joins us to read our Bible readings for this morning. It's a time when we're very aware of our own weakness as a human race. And so it's right that as we come before God, we bring our brokenness to him and we acknowledge that before him now and we plead with him. So let me say this confession and do join in in your hearts if you like to. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed. Through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us all, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you, in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now I'm going to invite Karen McGill, who's going to bring our two Bible readings for this morning. And after that, our church warden, Sue De Jong, will come and share with us a thought for today. Thank you. Our first reading is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 2, and reading from verse 1. Now a man of the tribe of Levi married a Levite woman, and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. When she saw that he was a fine child, she hid him for three months. But when she could hide him no longer, she got a papyrus basket for him and coated it with tar and pitch. Then she placed the child in it and put it among the reeds along the bank of the Nile. His sister stood at a distance to see what would happen to him. Then Pharaoh's daughter went down to the Nile to bathe, and her attendants were walking along the riverbank. She saw the basket among the reeds and sent her female slave to get it. She opened it and saw the baby. He was crying, and she felt sorry for him. This is one of the Hebrew babies, she said. Then his sister asked Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and get one of the Hebrew women to nurse the baby for you? Yes, go, she answered. So the girl went and got the baby's mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this baby and nurse him for me, and I will pay you. So the woman took the baby and nursed him. When the child grew older, she took him to Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. 
She named him Moses, saying, I drew him out of the water. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second reading is from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 19, and reading from verse 25. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, <coughs> he said to her, Woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So good morning to all those who are uh, listening live and those who will perhaps be listening a bit later on, on this uh, Mothering Sunday, this Mothering Sunday. And we have stories of two mums, don't we? That first one in the Old Testament, I'm sure it's familiar. You may have a storybook about Moses at home. The Israelites are slaves in Egypt. Over the years, they'd become exceedingly fruitful. They'd multiplied greatly. There were lots of them. They became so numerous, we're told, the land was filled with them. And this increase in population alarmed the new king, the pharaoh, whom we read, to Joseph meant nothing. Time has moved on. And so what does he do then? Well, he organizes slave masters to oppress those people and then even moves to instructing Hebrew midwives to kill any baby boy born to a Hebrew woman. The midwives, we're told, are women of faith. They feared the Lord. They let the boys live. Sadly, this led to more drastic action as Pharaoh gave the order that every Hebrew boy that was born must be thrown into the Nile. Every girl was allowed to live. And so this morning then, that story of one baby son born to a Levite woman, hidden for as long as possible, then placed in that basket on the riverbank of the Nile watched over by his sister, found by Pharaoh's daughter, amazingly given back to his mum, who nursed him, but then taken back to Pharaoh's daughter, becoming her son, being given the name Moses. Just one hint of emotion in the Bible text there that Pharaoh's daughter felt sorry for the baby when she found him. But what about the child's mother? What about mum, dad and sister? What was it like having a child return to the family only to have to give him up again and then watch him be brought up as an Egyptian prince? All kinds of emotions, I'm sure, at this point in time, well, perhaps no hint of God's purposes. We know, don't we, Moses was to be the one who would lead his people out of Egypt. 
but tough times had been endured. They were not over yet. There are tough times today. Perhaps they are only just beginning. That short reading from John's Gospel takes us to another mother and another son. And this time it's Mary with her grown-up son, Jesus. And we are near the cross and Jesus is dying. Mary is there with other women by her side. Sadly, Joseph was probably dead by this time, having been older than Mary and the disciples. Mary, the disciples had probably gone into hiding. That is, apart from John, described as the disciple that Jesus loved. So how come he was there? Tom Wright, in his book, John for Everyone, suggests he was probably quite young, perhaps not an obvious disciple, perhaps not seen as a threat by the soldiers, so perhaps reasonably safe to be at the cross. Looking back in the Gospels, we've got glimpses, haven't we, of that relationship between Mary and Jesus, (coughs) and hints of how things would be. Mary chosen as that young girl to be the mother of the one and only Son of God, giving birth in a stable, receiving a gift of myrrh, an oil applied to a body after death. And then as Simeon recognised Jesus as the longed-for Messiah, he told Mary a sword would pierce her soul. Then, of course, that familiar story when Jesus, aged 12, went missing after a visit to the temple. I'm sure as parents, we've experienced that utter panic when we don't exactly know where our children are. What does Jesus say? He says this. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? His parents didn't understand what he was saying. And two other incidents after Jesus had begun his public ministry. What about that wedding in Canaan? Mary's the one who goes to tell Jesus that the wine has run out. What is Jesus' response? Well, it's, woman, why do you involve me? Woman, they're not a disrespectful term as it may sound to us in our language today. He had to say to her, my hour has not yet come. Did she understand what he was talking about? She did trust him. She told the servants to do whatever he told them. And then another exchange between Mary and Jesus. A crowd is there. Jesus is talking to the crowd. Someone comes to say that his mother and his brothers want to speak to him. What does he say? Well, he says this. Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And then he points to the disciples and he says, here they are, here are my mother and brothers. Whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother, my sister, my mother. Well, that for us, isn't it, is a wonderful picture of what it means to be in God's family. But probably not easy words for Mary to hear. And so to the cross. Jesus again uses that word, woman, but continues, here is your son. He was and he is the son of God, but he was Mary's son too. And as he dies, he entrusts Mary to John, that he may treat her as his mother. 
So Mothering Sunday then, two stories from God's Word, two mothers, two mothers who had to let their sons go, Moses to be brought up in another family as an Egyptian prince, Jesus to death on a cross. Three thoughts as I finish this morning. And I think the first one is this, to say that earthly life will never be a walk in the park, will it? Even for those of us with faith, that's our experience. And it certainly wasn't for the mothers of Moses and Jesus. Jesus said, in this world you will have trouble. I'm so glad he went on to say, take heart, I, Jesus, have overcome the world. Secondly, I believe we're created by God to be interdependent, to both give and receive, to love and to be loved, to care and to be cared for. That can be in families, with friends, in our community, in the church. The mothers of Jesus needed, didn't they, the support of others. And we need one another, especially in these days. And finally, I go back to the Psalms and David, and he wrote this. I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. My times are in your hands. We don't know what the future holds, but we know the God who holds the future. And his promise is eternal life with him. Amen. And we're going to pick up just that idea in, one, in our next song where it says, towards the end, listen out for that line, my life is safe with Christ on high. Thank you.
What a beautiful uh, reflection on those two Bible readings and a lovely song to follow. I'm going to introduce to you Ian McGill now, who's our Associate Minister. He's going to lead us in a time of prayer. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, Peter. So on this special day, as we draw together in prayer, wherever we are, locally or across the world. So, Father God, we come before you to offer our thoughts, our concerns and our hopes in these testing times. Lord, we pray for our world, our nation and our community as we all seek to try and come to terms with the life-changing events that have befallen us all this week. We pray today for the resolve and energy not to be so consumed with fear and anxiety and that we may continue to stand firm as a people of faith, trusting in you. Lord, we pray for the gifts of your mercy and grace that as a church family here in this place, we remain resolute in our mission and ministry to follow the call of Jesus, being salt and light where you have placed us and to be the good neighbours for all. Lord, we pray for a sense of calmness in our society and our community as we all face the concerns over our daily needs and that we would seek to support each other in our choices and our provisions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks and pray for all who stand and work in the front line giving of themselves in medical care and support for those who have fallen ill because of the coronavirus. Our nurses, our doctors, our national health staff, the research specialists who are seeking containment and cure. And we give thanks for all the many volunteers who have stepped out to offer support and care for those more vulnerable in our society, the elderly, those needing long-term care, those living on their own. Lord, bless those who give of themselves so much and watch over them, we pray. And we pray too for our world leaders as they try to deal with all the consequences of a fragmented social landscape and as hard decisions have to be made. We pray that they may find wisdom, compassion, and the resolve to act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly before you. We pray for all those who are under pressure due to uncertainty over future employment, for businesses, the self-employed, so many questions and yet so difficult to answer. And Lord, we continue to hold before you all those who remain troubled by previous events and where the news has now moved on. We pray for those who live on the fringes of society and those lost amongst the noise and the haste. Let us not give up doing good and have the eyes to see and the ears to listen out for each other wherever we are. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we take just a moment to pray for those who may have lost loved ones recently those who may be struggling through ill health, those needing love and time to support them. Father God, we know that you, that you have a heart of compassion and concern 
and that every heartbeat is known unto you. And Lord, amid all the concerns that surround us at this time, we remember today the very special gift of motherhood. On this day we give thanks and wonder in the joy and comfort that mothers bring and only mothers can know. We thank you, Father, for their love and for their hearts. It is a very difficult time today as many will not be able to be close. And for others, motherhood and remembering Mother's Day can be a testing time. And yet across the divide, we know, Lord, that you can work even through the toughest times to bring light, joy and hope. We take just a moment to pause and bring to God now anything that's on our hearts or in our minds now, wherever we are. The Apostle Paul ups, uplifts us with these very encouraging words that we may be joyful in our hope, steadfast in our affliction, and faithful in our prayers. Wherever you are in the world, if you'd like to join it now with the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Now and forever. Amen. Thank you so much, Ian, for leading us in that time of prayer. Uh, just to remind you that uh, after the service today, we're going to have a, a virtual time of uh, a coffee uh, and refreshments. And that will be an opportunity, if you're watching online now, to post uh, some news, share some prayer requests. I see some requests have already gone up already. Uh, and Serena and I will uh, we'll chat through those and we'll pray uh, and uh, just be a church family time together for a few moments after the service. For now, I want to hear you singing around your screens because this is a favourite, I know. We're going to finish our service this morning by singing in Christ alone. The reason we've chosen this one is for some lovely words, but particular, in particular it reminds us that as Christians we have no fear in death because of the power of Christ within us. Uh, he rose, we will rise. And so let's cling on to that hope right now as we sing together. Please stand, including you, <laughs> in Christ alone. I 
way to close our service this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Do stay on if you can for a virtual coffee time uh, and I uh, just want to say my thanks to all those who've contributed to the service this morning as I'm sure you want to too. Thank you for singing and playing Paul and Serena. Uh, thank you Ian for your prayers, Karen for the readings. Thank you Sue for sharing God's word with us, breaking it open and making those lovely connections between those two Bible readings. And particular thank you to Ed uh, and Dave Snocker and our technical team who've been working away, not just now, but behind the scenes all week to make this possible. So my thanks go to them. Uh, and I just want to extend our love and prayers to you all at this time. Uh, and uh, we're with you, if not physically, we're with you in spirit. And so I'm going to close the service with a blessing. The God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus, establish, strengthen, and settle you in the faith. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Thank you. I'm going to invite Serena now to come and grab a microphone, if you could. And uh, we're going to have a time of virtual coffee, of sharing some refreshments. So I particularly love Philip Labrie's comment about not standing up because he's got a dog on his lap. Uh, that's not good enough, Phil. You need to get yourself on your feet. Okay. And uh, now is the time you can just share any news with the church family. Just be aware, uh, whatever you do share, that's going to go across the world and be available uh, to watch as well. So you might not want to share uh, certain things, but it'd be lovely to hear some news for how you're getting on in self-isolation and how things are going. Serena's coming to join me just now. We've uh, managed to get the feed of comments uh, up on the screen, uh, and it's also here. So, um, welcome.
Thank you, Serena. Hiya. Your singing is great, isn't it? Wow, what a, what a gift. What a gift. Thank you. Thank that you for embarrassing beautiful. me. That's lovely. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's good to see you. And Helen, yeah, please um, personal message your prayer requests. That's a really good point. As Peter was saying, maybe you don't want to share those publicly on Facebook. But send us a personal message on Dibden Churches. We can pray. Mm. Yeah. Who else is in the building? Oh, it's lovely to see everyone. Reuben, hope you're doing all right with all your, your family at home. Bless you. I know that people in the community have really appreciated all your help. Um, at the garage and all that you've been doing. Thank you, a local hero. Oh, we've got Jerry and Anne in the building. Hi, Jerry and Anne, good to see you. Well, see your comments. <laughs> my sister. Oh, Karen's ah, sister. Karen's sister. Hi. Hi, welcome. <laughs> We've just been told you're in, you're in the, the stream. Good to see you. Hello, Carol. Welcome. Great, yeah. great you could join us. We're really, really pleased. That's so lovely that your, your family are able to join us. We know that it's a, a hard thing not being able to worship for a long time. So really pleased that you can access this. That's really good. And Roger Eileen. Is that Roger and Eileen Sargent? I think. So. I think. Do you think? I think lovely, so. Lovely to have them. Love, great to have you with us. Who <laughs> Ed, else is, is there? Ed is highlighting on the on the screen there. Someone called Frances has asked us to pray uh, for her nephew, um, who has coronavirus and is due to give birth to her first baby any day now. So we we do. Let's just should we should just we pause pray? to yeah. pray about that. Father, we thank you. We thank you so much for the gift of new life. And Lord, we lift up Jade to you. We thank you for her. And we ask that you would just put your protection around her at this time, Lord. We pray for a safe delivery of that baby. And we ask that that joy um, would be <clears throat> abounding in this time. That is hard, Lord, that joy of new life. Would you place your protection on Jade and her health, Lord? We ask it in your name. Mm. Amen. 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 Thank you, Colin Tatchell, for suggesting that we should have a coffee. That's a great idea. <laughs> I, yeah. well, that's put, the, it's the, the only problem on. is that we don't have a coffee. <laughs> if we you have, have coffee a, at home, I'm jealous. Coffee. We need a mug. We need a mug. We do. Um, hey, Ian, do you want to make me a coffee? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Thing is, he thinks I'm joking. I'm actually not. <laughs> He's going. He's, he's gone, go. he's gone. There will be coffee soon. Colin, yes. thank you. And a biscuit as well. <laughs> what well, is coffee time together without coffee? Thank you, Colin, for the suggestion. Brilliant, brilliant. Just worth um, reminding you, uh, while we've got a minute, to uh, share, please share the post on Facebook uh, about our initiative of uh, delivering free hot meals to uh, families and to, to, to elderly people. Sorry, I wasn't laughing at that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I just Serena saw Colin. That's hilarious. I don't know Sorry, why. That wasn't funny. Please carry on. I just saw um, your comment, Colin, about Ian making himself useful, and I liked it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's really important. Um, share, share the post about um, but, free meals. That is really important. But please do. We'd love to be, be a great service to our community in that way, and uh, we need to get the message out. We've been flyering uh, the local community with those flyers. But I think if we can get it on social media and do feel like you can call for an elderly relative, if we've got a mum or a dad uh, who would appreciate uh, hot soup and a roll one day this week, then uh, uh, do, do yeah. give us a call and we'll do that. Yes, very important. Karen, it's great to have you. Bless you. Thank you for, for commenting. Please, that it was a blessing to you. And Joe, thank you. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thanks, Lorraine. <laughs> Oh, Sarah, I'd love to see you joining in. Brilliant. And Lorraine, great to have you with us. Oh, it's good to see everyone. It really is so nice to think we're gathering all at home, but all together. That's so, so precious, isn't it? Ruth de la Cour, sat in sunshine, drinking tea. <laughs> <laughs> more tea, no, Vicar. Exactly, more tea, Vicar. Yeah, quite <laughs> they right. They are actually making one it's now, It's on the Ruth. way, apparently. It's yeah. on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone got any exciting news? We've been hearing such such bad news all the time, haven't we? Anyone got any exciting news to share? Do comment. We'd love to celebrate with the exciting news. 
Oh, thank you, Jerry, for sending it to the Hythe Peer Group. Great. Yeah, that's great. Um, and if we could get it on Hythe Waterside pages, that would be brilliant as well. Mm. And we do pray for Charlie um, working at the moment. Jackie's just commented about, about Charlie working. So should we, just, should we just pause to pray for Charlie? Good, cool. Yeah. Okay. Should I pray? Mm. Father, we pray for Charlie right now. We pray for all those in our church family who mm. uh, work for the NHS and are caring for people uh, who are struggling right now. Uh, pray for our whole NHS. We thank you for those precious people. Thank you for the gifts you've given them and for the way they seek to use those mm. gifts for the good yes. uh, of the whole nation. And uh, so we lift them to you. Give them strength. Yes. Give them all the energy they need. Uh, be with them and help them to know that we are right behind them. Yes. And, uh, and we love them and we love what they're doing. Yeah. Protect them too, Father, we pray. Pray for your Holy Spirit to send uh, protection over them yeah. and uh, help them. Be their helper right now. Amen. Amen. And you're a, you're a hero, Charlie. Thank you for everything <laughs> you're doing, hero. Charlie's our church warden, by the way. If you're listening yes. online, you don't know who Charlie is. Uh, Sue and Charlie are our wardens. Um, Sue preached and Charlie's out there yeah. working. Brilliant. Yeah. Hello, Pippa. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Great that you could join in with us. Ed, could you scroll up so I can see the others? Sorry, I'm just looking at all your comments. Don't want to miss anyone. Oh, Chris Lodas. <laughs> Lovely to see you, Chris. Lovely to see you. We enjoyed it. Seats are more comfortable. At <laughs> Whoa. Chris, I want you back in here. And <laughs> well, this is done. Yeah, don't get used to your sofa. No getting used to that cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe. Lovely to see you, my love. Hope you're doing well. You're doing such a great job at school. Really doing a fantastic job. We're so pleased that children still have access to wonderful teachers like you. And that goes for any other teachers who are watching this. You are stars. We love you. Mm. You are heroes. Mm. And um, yeah, maybe we should pray for teachers. Should we pray for and, teachers? And local schools. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we should. Yeah, shall I pray? <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at me like, are you going to pray or should I pray? <laughs> I'll pray. I'll pray. <laughs> Lord, pray. I'll thank join you. In. Thank you so much for, for all of the teachers and school staff that are giving up um, their time to be blessing those children that still need to be at school. Lord, we thank you for them. They are wonderful heroes of our community. And we, we pray that you would give them the strength, Lord, and, and the provision they need at this time. Thank you for the stories I've seen of generosity of parents giving food to schools to make sure that teachers who are not able to get to shops um, are able to have food. I thank you for the generosity in this community of teachers and those supporting them. And for the schools, Lord, where children are, we pray that your presence would be there. We pray for those children um, to have peace in the midst of this. Help teachers to communicate with them helpfully um, about what's going on. And thank you for this generation um, who are experiencing such an extraordinary time. And I pray that this would shape them um, as they go forward to be a generation that is caring and kind and focused on their community. I ask all of that in Jesus' name. Mm. Amen. 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 Oh my goodness, look at, oh, look at this. We've even got waiter wow. service. He's got my a tea towel over his arm. What is coming? Woo -woo. <laughs> what are you drinking at home? What are you eating? We'd love to know. Tea, if you've got a better coffee tea. than me, though, I might get a bit tea. jealous. Tea, <laughs> oh, people this. got bourbon. Look They're my this. favourite. Coffee. This is more than Thank virtual you. coffee. This Thank is real you. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Do you want everyone to know that I know my place? Okay. <laughs> Could someone just comment about how close Ian got to me then? Because, you know, <laughs> wasn't two metres, was it? Te teaching Ian how to serve, you <laughs> see. It's, it's Christian ministry is about service. Ian, thank you so much. Wow. We, we jest, but thank you. That is really kind of you. Oh, Who um, else have we got in the house? Martin Cross. Oh, love to you and Val. Mm, love, so much love to you and Val. Yeah. 
We're with you. And Alison, um, I just wanted to make a comment about your comment earlier about children's activities. On Monday, I'm hoping to stream from Dibden Mini's Facebook page a singing time because that is my favourite part of toddler group. <laughs> so I'm really sad not to be doing it. So if you have toddlers at home who are um, needing something to do, 10 o'clock on Monday, do watch me um, singing and dancing and having general fun. That will be great. Sounds great. That sounds really <laughs> cool. Um, just a request from Nikki Long there to pray for her sister Becky in intensive care. Uh, she's an intensive care matron in Gloucester. Um, Alison is praying for her now. That's great. Lovely that you mm. know, we're not the only ones who can pray. You can be praying for, mm. uh, for these requests yeah. too. That's really kind. Um, and just on schools, just to, as we've prayed for, for teachers and schools, just a big shout out to all the schools in our parish. Mm. Uh, Orchard Infant, Orchard Junior, Nodeswood, Applemore, Oak Lodge. Mm -hmm. um, wild ground they've all been doing amazing work the teachers have been outstanding in providing yeah. resources and coping in really tough situations and um <laughs> we'll, we're, <laughs> we're, we're getting away from the back <laughs> not sure what it's about is it telling serena not to uh, uh, eat serena, her biscuit chewing in the microphone i'm really sorry if you helped out <laughs> that was really important notice as well sorry peter serena mustn't chew her biscuit apparently is that right <laughs> Sorry, everyone, if you heard me crunching. <laughs> big, big me. shout out to all our, all our local schools and our parishes uh, in our parish. We are um, really, really amazed at all that you've been doing over yeah. the last week. Incredible work. Incredible. Uh, who else have we got to pray for? Let's have a look, Ed. There's a request from down? Carol here. Pray for patience and wisdom uh, as she tries to explain to her dad, Carl. Mm. Uh, how to set this up himself to watch next mm. week yeah mm. yeah absolutely and in fact there'll be Thanks, there'll Ed. be many many you know we've had a i think total viewing about 75 which is a which is lovely uh, but it'd be great if we could um, we could extend that next week and for those people who um who can't get online uh do see if we can help them in any way that's a great point carol let's um, let's pray for that um and also just to say we we're not sure whether we're going to continue using facebook live or YouTube, we might switch to YouTube if that's more accessible for more people. Yeah. Um, so we, we will make that decision in the week and we'll let you all know and we'll send you yeah. out the links. But if you, if you do know, if you can help anyone, obviously not, not physically, but if you can help them get online and get access, then, uh, then that would be great. Yeah. Thank you. And also to say we don't know how the, <laughs> the government are going to um, rule on restrictions so going forward um, we'll, we'll do something but whether we can be together like this in the future we don't know um, so maybe it'll be someone at home you might just <laughs> get me in my study I'm afraid <laughs> might just get Peter in his study it might make him clean it so that's okay um, want to pray for Hazel Hazel um, had a comment up there Ed about her was it her sister yeah Hazel sister is off the ventilator and has responded to her doctor and daughter's voice that is Oh, that is amazing news. Mm. Praise the Lord. And Lord, we just lift up Hazel's sister to you now and we pray that health would flood her body, that Lord, you would breathe life into her and you would keep that good progress going in the name of Jesus. Mm. Amen. Amen. Great shout out from Susie Pavitt, praying for all church workers, people mm. who are keeping churches open, keeping yeah. churches going. Well done, uh, administrators. Susie. Susie's a church administrator, I know. Uh, and for Amanda, who's been doing a brilliant, mm. brilliant work um, in the office this week, coping with all kinds of different things uh, and uh, been doing, doing really well. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, great, great shout, Susie. Let's pray, pray for everyone working in that, in that area too. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's one from Debbie there. What was Debbie saying? Hi, Debbie. Great to see you. Arafeli from Spain. That is so is great. She, is she here? Is she on it? Very oh, fantastic. I'm so pleased that she could, could join, join us. Could join our church service from Spain. Arafeli, oh, that's amazing. That is that so is lovely. lovely. We love to your whole family. Yeah. Oh, that's really, really good. Yeah, and we yeah. pray for the country of Spain as well, Lord, that in these times of lockdown, you would bring glimpses of hope and joy, Lord, that they may be singing and dancing and laughter in those times. Mm. Amen. Mm. So Hazel Kennedy's back from France. Is that is that what? back online or back from France, Hazel? How, how on earth did you make it? I thought you were in lockdown, but you've you've made it somehow, Philip and Hazel. Great, great to have you back with us. 
Um, uh, thank you for uh, uh, helping out too with the, uh, the online uh, trial in the week. Uh, it was good to have that. My sister is off, the, oh right, and we've got another request from you. My sister's off the ventilator and responded to her doctors. Yeah, I think you, did you yeah, mention that yeah. before? Great. But if you're home, that is an incredible miracle, Hazel. Praise Excuse the, the Lord. crunch as this goes down. Is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> Almost spilling my coffee everywhere. We were a really good double act, aren't we? Um, what else have we got? Yes, Ian, we love you. Ruth, Del Ruth Delacour is saying, don't take any notice about us winding you up because we love you. And amen, we do love you. Uh, Roger and Eileen Sargent, we think that is. Please pray for Maida Davy, who passed out whilst out walking and had to get um, assistance from, oh, from a passerby. Roger was on hand, praise the Lord, and seems okay now. Daughter at home with her. Should we pray oh, for Maida? Yeah, let's pray for Maida. You can Shall I do that? that? Heavenly Father, we thank you for Maida. We pray mm. for her now. Precious, precious child of, of God. We mm. um, lift her to you. Thank you for the way you, you brought her through that uh, difficult patch uh, over Christmas. Uh, mm. And we now pray for her, pray for recovery. Yeah. And pray that you be with her. Give her strength in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We're getting some stats through. Apparently, uh, okay. we did get Hazel up to... Hazel is not home, but back online. Okay. Oh, back online. Oh, Hazel. We oh, got sorry. really excited, but that's exciting you're, you're here. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, oh, oh, lovely yeah, to okay, see you, Sandy. Okay. Some stats come through. So, uh, Phil Alcock said we got up to 79, and Colin Tatchell says that probably means 150 watchers. Any, any Facebook people understand that? Not sure. No. I'm a Facebook person, but. Um. Oh, couples. Oh, families. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. See, it takes Sue to, to let us know how, <laughs> how these things work. She's not even on Facebook. Good point. Good point. Thank you, Colin. Yes, exactly. Of course. Ah. Oh, that's encouraging, isn't it? I've just thought you can add another six to that for my family. They're all watching. There you go. <laughs> all the love hearts going with Sue yeah. was preaching. There's loads of love hearts. <laughs> Yeah, William I think Tuller. that was great. Was that you, Grace? <laughs> I think that was you, Grace. Isn't it? Oh, Connie, it's great to see you. Diane, lovely to have you with us. Really lovely to have you with us. Can I share some, some family news? Mm. We just got a puppy. What? Well, not actually got it, but it's coming. It's very exciting. What news breed? from the Cock a poodle. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We just thought actually we need something to cheer us up over yeah. the next few months. That's a and, great uh, idea. Uh, yeah, and we'd all be at home to, to look after it. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I should get a puppy. We need some suggestions for the name though. So Ooh, if anyone's got any name suggestions for the, for the taller puppy, that, Hi, would be, that would be great. Hi, oh. Sharon Ellery. So nice to see you. Hi, Isaiah. <laughs> ah, Isaiah. Can, can oh. you grab a, grab a mic, Ian, and come, come and join us? We, we have a prayer request, Peter, an important okay. one. Sharon Ellery, please pray for mum and dad. We are supporting as much as we can, but are concerned about passing on the virus to them. But without support, mm. they could not cope. Mm. Let's, t let's pause and pray for, pray for Sharon, yeah. Sharon and, and, and mum and dad. Lord, we thank you for Sharon and, and Lord, for her family, for her mum and dad. Lord, we thank you for the way that she is caring for them, the way she has a heart that is caring from you. And Lord, we pray for mum and dad now that they would be safe from this virus in the name of Jesus. And that, Lord, they would have everything they need. Pray for, for people at the right time to reach out and support them and to support Sharon too. We ask it in your name. Amen. Mm. Sharon, praying for Sally too. Mm. Really, she's on mm. our hearts right now. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, we will continue to pray for her. Just seeing the light bulb come on above your head. Yay, puppy. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi, Ruth and Connie and everyone. Is it a boy, boy or a girl? Oh, good point, good <laughs> point. You need to know. Well, these days you might not do, but um, uh, it's a boy. It's a boy. Thank you. Who, who's that Diana? Just if yeah. you've just tuned in, he's not had another baby. <laughs> <laughs> They're not pregnant <laughs> again. <laughs> it's a boy. <laughs> it's a number, puppy. It's a puppy. Six. <laughs> yeah. The girls say the puppy should be called Bonnie slash Jeffrey slash Jim slash Matty slash Bob or Boris. Boris. <laughs> Boris. <laughs> Pet oh, Boris. Oh, yes. I think it has to be Boris. Isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. Thank you for the suggestion. And thank you, Anna, Anna and um, Lydia. Uh, tell you the other thing, just to share, great news is the WhatsApp groups. Um, I think there's been about four home groups have set up new WhatsApp groups uh, for sharing resources and ideas and prayer requests. Um, and so that's been really encouraging to see that happen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's WhatsApp groups on, on in, in neighbourhood roads as well, which is yes, really good for, yeah. for people on the road to share any sort of urgent requests. I think that's a lovely idea. Um, so how much longer are we going to be drinking coffee, Peter? Uh, <laughs> oh, is that what Ed wants to know? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just thinking we probably have to uh, put a time on we, it. Yeah, should we say cut two, uh, two more minutes? Karen. Five more minutes? Karen has you... something to say. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So Karen's just asked that we pray for those who can't be joining us on technology because they don't have access. So let's pause to do that. Okay. <laughs> I just touched my shoulder. I've done that. Oh. <laughs> it was his elbow. It's okay. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for uh, each uh, and every person who's been able to gather online now and uh, for those present. Uh, but we acknowledge that there are many who haven't been able to connect uh, with us this morning. Uh, we do pray for them mm. and uh, we lift them to you. Uh, yes, okay. Pray for them in their, in their loneliness, that yes. you might meet with them, uh, that you might reassure them, be with them. Uh, we pray uh, that... Uh, uh, they would know us as our church family are, are here for them uh, and know that uh, you uh, will be their helper, uh, that you will not leave them alone, uh, but uh, that you will get them through this. Mm. And uh, we lift all those uh, to you now, yeah. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Mm, Colin Tatchell, don't stop. We're having too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Colin. Don't we love you. Stop me cool. now. We're having fun, actually. It's great fun. Not, Definitely not Boris. Not Boris. No. <laughs> says Susie Pavitt. Why would you want to do that to a lovely puppy? <laughs> 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 Thinking of ironic names, I think. We, we were going to get the puppy literally is just about this big at the moment, and uh, it's just kind of it's very sleepy. So mm. we were thinking about sort of ironic names like Bolt and uh, mm. Speedy and uh, all, all those kind of Good things. One. Lorraine Frame. Goodbye for now. Bye, Lorraine. Have a great lunch. Virtual lunch oh, with the boys on idea. Mothering yeah, Sunday. Yeah, well, yeah. How lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Someone, someone's putting angry faces. <laughs> I think that's your family. <laughs> Who's putting angry faces? <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the puppy. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, we've got another. How about the name Difa? Jerry? Difa? Difa dog. Difa dog. <laughs> <laughs> we just got that, Jerry. That's good. Difa? Mm. Oh, dear. That is almost as bad as uh, this, this debate about the moment about, <laughs> about who are key workers. You've heard this online debate, haven't you? Um, yeah. There's a big discussion about who the key workers are, um, particularly people are asking about locksmiths. You know, um, there's a big question about whether locksmiths count, you know, do they count as, as key workers? Sue's got it. Have you, have you, Serena's not got it yet. Sorry, I was looking at the comments. I wasn't really listening. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, say it again. Say it again. There's a debate going on about whether locksmiths are key workers or not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we need you, Ollie. Oliver need, and we need you on the drums <laughs> yeah. for that one. Yeah. Um, Carol Ovenden is a great suggestion. I think we should take her up on this. Mm. How about a Saturday night live comedy double act slot as well? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a great idea. My dreams were crushed. 
Oh, that's um, lovely. Thank you, Alison. That's really, really special. Yeah. It's been the best time of sharing as a church family I've experienced. That's really lovely. Really touched. Yeah, yeah. that's lovely. I hope other people have enjoyed that too. Right. Um, I need to go and have some lunch. <laughs> <laughs> After you just <laughs> insulted me, no. no. <laughs> we'll do this again. It's okay. It's okay. We're thinking of maybe doing some Q&As. Um, but again, we're just going to keep an eye on the government guidelines on social distancing and just do what we can, basically. Mm. Um, so apologies if it is my study next week. Uh, and uh, maybe Serena singing uh, at home, but but we will uh, we'll do what we can. Um, but yeah. um, have you got a final message for everyone? Just that we love you and we're praying for you. And if you need anything, please be in contact. And don't forget to share about the coffee house meals. That's really important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just our love and prayers extending to you all. Mm. Uh, thank you for the way you're supporting each other mm. uh, in an amazing way. And uh, it just reveals how important church family is, doesn't it, at this yeah. time. Um, that people of all ages can join in uh, and support one another. Uh, church is precious. Uh, our faith is precious. Yeah. Um, do, uh, do hold on to that in these times and take care. God bless. God bless. Bye. Mm.